welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you something amazing. Look at this. Let me show you. I hope that you can see it complete. I made this coat. Well, you can use it as a coat, right? Or as a beach cover -out. Imagine that you have a bikini under and you are wearing this in the beach. I think you will look so amazing. Or also you can wear this in a wedding or in a special dinner for a special occasion, right? So I think that it's a piece that you need to have in your closet and you won't believe it, but it is so easy. This stitch is easy and it's in one piece. So I will show you, I will give you all my secrets and tips. And well, I made this coat uh, in my size, so it's a large size, but don't worry. I will show you how you can make it in a smaller or a larger size, okay? But so don't worry. Uh, remember that before we start, it's important that we subscribe. And then I will give you the material list and the step by step. Let's start. Well, for this coat, I'm going to use this material. It's a light yarn it's a weight number three and I will use this brand in this color I chose uh, black and I will use 900 grams okay this is for a large size and uh, remember I'm making this coat long and I will use the hook of number three and a half millimeters well let's start with one thread and with our hook, we are going to start making a strip of chains, okay? We are going to make a chains that cover the width of our hip. So, uh, we have to make more chains than that, okay? So, but take your hip as a reference. In my case, it has to measure 75 centimeters, so I will make 120 chains. Well, at the end of the chains that you need, we are going to make one chain more and we are going to start making a half double crochet in each stitch. Like this is how we are going to make the half double crochet, okay? As you could see, we turn over, we insert a hook. Oh no, sorry, okay, turn over, insert a hook and bring them all of them together. And like this, we are going to make one in each stitch. Well, at the end of the 120 half double crochet, we will go up with four chains. This piece that we are making is the back, okay? So, uh, so you can have it as a reference and you can make the drawing. So I skip one and in the next one, make a double crochet. This will be the square of the beginning. And we are going to repeat this at the beginning and at the end, okay? So then make one, two, three chains, skip one, two, and in the third, make a double crochet. And right here we are going to make a V, making one chain between each double crochet, you see? So we make a double crochet, one chain, and a double crochet. Then three chains, we'll skip one, two, and the third, a double crochet. Then look, we are going to repeat one chain, skip one and make a double crochet. Then one chain, skip one and in the next one a double crochet. One chain, skip one and in the next one a double crochet. One chain, skip one and in the next one a double crochet. One chain, skip one and in the next one a double crochet. So we made six double crochet with one chain between them, okay? Like this. Once we are going to make this and once we are going to make this six double crochet. So here first we have one segment and this is the second segment. For now we are going to repeat three chains. We skip two and then here in the third insert the hook and we are going to repeat the V. So one double crochet, one chain and then a second double crochet in the same space. Then three chains and skip two and in the third a double crochet and again we are going to repeat the segment of the six double crochet 
like this we are going to continue the whole row repeating these two segments and remember at the beginning and at the end of the row we are going to make the square of the beginning look at the end I have the V the segment of 6 and I will make the last square of the edge then turn around and go up with one two three four chains and make the square of the beginning okay a double crochet so like this we are always going to start and finish the row remember and we are going to crochet as it goes okay if we made a segment of six well we are going to repeat what we made in the last row okay so here we are going to continue making the segment of six and see you there well sorry i correct the shot so here we have the square of the beginning one two three four five and six and now here we are going to make the big square so three chains and here we will repeat the V remember the V with one chain between double crochet okay and then we are going to make three chains and then a double crochet we are going to uh, repeat as it goes okay as we made in the last row well unlike this repeating these segments we are going to continue we are going to make two rows more well we have here four rows and we repeat the first and the second segment okay like this we continue these four rows the same and can you see here how I respect the square of the edge and also in the other side too so here is how we finish the first series now I will turn around and I will start with the second series and for the next series we are going to make four rows too and well remember that we are going to respect to make the, the square that we made at the beginning and at the end of the row so now we are going to alternate okay where we made the squares we are going to make the V's and where we make the V's we are going to make the squares so look here we are going to make one double crochet then one chain and then in the next double crochet we are going to make a double crochet and like this we are going to make and repeat the segment of the squares you see and here we are going to make the last one so here we have the six squares that I need to complete the segment right so then we are going to make the three chains and then in the middle out of the six squares right here we are going to make the V so here the first double crochet one chain and then the next double crochet then three chains we are going to make a double crochet at the end of the segment of the six six squares and where we make the squares we are going to make the V so we are going to alternate so we are going to make four rows like this and then again we are going to repeat the first series that we made okay and we are going to make 15 series at the end well look I continue I repeat this series and I alternate okay and I made 15 series in total okay so for me it's enough I already measured and I have 75 centimeters so to me it is enough you see how it is easy and simple is this stitch well look here uh, you could see how I alternate the series so remember in total I have 15 series to me it's enough I have 75 centimeters of long so I think it's perfect so now we are going to divide from the armhole to the bottom well from here from one of the corners we are going to make a, a long strip of chains that go from here to the long that we need for the slip and now we are going to divide how many of width for the slip so look for the slip I will take these four series it measured from here to here 20 centimeters right so I will make 35 chains and then I will come back making the first row of the series okay I will show you so basically we are going to repeat what we made here okay and 
but well first let's make the 35 chains well at the end of the chains I will make five chains more because I will make the square of the edge okay so please take that into account too well and like we are going to continue repeating the series we have to see which series goes next okay so please be careful we have to observe and to see how the drawing goes and then we will see but first let's make the square of the beginning of the edge and let me see so well but for now we are going to make the mesh a stitch we are going to make the row of, of squares and I will show you how it went so look I finished the row but here I have five chains more so I think that instead of making five chains more at the end I will just make it two so here we are going to correct it because look at how it looks here the hole is so big but well here we are going to the other uh, corner and right here we are going to make with other skein of yarn uh, the strip of chains okay of the 35 chains so when we came back we have that chains as, as a base so we can uh, crochet complete but well first I will correct this and then see you well look of the 35 chains we add four series okay we alternate and we continue using the same stitch remember to make the last uh, square of the edge and I made the same in the other side too I made four series and I put the square of the edge this will be the bottom and here I have five series and remember with four rows we have one series well here I think I, I said series but no here we made segments okay as you could see we made four segments and we are alternate and I want to show you what we are going to make in this sleeve okay I did already get ahead and well look this will be the part of the back so series for the sleeve we are going to make one two three four five six seven seven series okay so look from here where I made the 35 chains to here I made 7 series and we are going to repeat the same in the other side too from here we made 7 and when we finish to make those series we are going to divide in half so here in the half I leave one segment each side and this will be the neck okay we have to leave this space okay please do not crochet like a straight and continue take that space into account and leave space for the neck and we will start making each side apart okay well I did get ahead because I went to the doctor so I continue making the project but look I continue with the same number of segments here in the sleeve then I reduce because I leave the space for the neck so then from there I continue and then I made the a part of the sleeve of the front but taking into account that we reduce for the neck okay and at the end we had to make the seven segments in front and in the back to have the uh, is sleeve okay to have the asymmetrical sleeve so this is a summary where we made the chains we made seven segments then we reduce the space of the neck and then from there we continue we made seven seven series more okay so when we finish to make the sleeve then we are going to just continue with the S series and with the segment to make the front and then with this one to here one two three four five and six segments I made 15 series and also what we are going to make in one side we are going to repeat it in the other side too so here as you could see I made the same it's the same stitch and you just have to take into account that we are reducing the neck and then we continue to make the front but well to have this uh, idea more clear I will show you the full drawing you will see 
Look how beautiful I have to put it in the floor so you can see it better. So look, here is where we started. We made the 15 series, right? Then we add each a strip of chains each side. Then with four segments each side, we made seven series. Okay, from here to here, seven. Then we reduce for the neck. We divide in half. We leave one segment each side. And then from here, we started to uh, make each piece apart. Then we made seven series and then we took out the chains that we had for the sleeve and then we continue making the fronts and we made 15 series. Well, this part will be the back, okay? So what we are going to do now is that we are going to fold and we are going to start sewing the pieces and we will make the sleeves and we will sew each side we are going to leave the bottom free because this is where all legs will be and then we will sew the rest. I will show you. Well, now here in the mannequin it looks different, right? So you can see the shape and how it looks. I think it's longer than I thought but I think it's beautiful too. So now here we are going to sew the sleeves and part of the side. So you will decide how many space you want to leave open. So you will sew until you want and we are going to make and repeat the same in the other side, okay? We are going to sew the same uh, space. And we also it's important that you know that you can make it as longer as you want, okay? In this case, it is so long, I think it's perfect for a beach cover-up, for a coat, if you have a different event. But well, at the end, uh, we are going to make a final row. It will be for the edge, but we are going to make a very simple stitch because I think that it's so far it's beautiful. So I just want to give it a final touch. So we are going to make uh, the final stitch, okay? We are going to make kind of shells. You will see. We will go up with three chains. Then in the same space we are going to make a second double crochet and then we will leave a space and make a single crochet. You see this is how we are going to continue all around. Again three chains, a double crochet and then we will leave some space and insert the hook. Like this we are going to continue all around. I'm making this in the bottom. I will repeat this because I think I will try to insert the hook where we have a stitch so if the shape and the stitch can look better, right? So here I'm going to insert the hook, single crochet, then three chains, a second double crochet and then here in the stitch taking one chain I will make a single crochet. And like this, okay, you are going to calculate how many space you need to leave. And uh, please uh, don't lose the shape of the, of the bottom, okay? Try to not to pull too much here in the bottom. And we'll, we are going to repeat this stitch also in the bottom of the sleeves, in the fronts and in the back too. I will continue and then I will show you how it looks, okay? For now, uh, that's it. Well, this is how it looks. I already hide all the loose threads that I have. I finished to make the last row with the last stitch. And I already ironed with plenty of steam using a protection under. And now let's see how it looks. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed making this coat, this cheerful peach cover up with me. I can't wait to see you wearing and to see you making this piece. I would love to. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to follow me in all my social media too. And if you like this video, well, don't forget to share it. Thank you so much. And don't forget that we have a date every Wednesday and every Saturday with a new video. I will be sharing more videos like this one and will uh, remember that you can make it shorter too or you can make it longer. But well, please share it and see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.